All right, hey, Taurus, so we're doing a no-contact read between you and the person on your mind. <clears throat> and you're going to know this is your reading by your energy and how you feel about the person. So if that doesn't resonate, you guys, check your moon rising or Venus placements. And if you're just coming across my channel, I welcome you. I hope that you guys subscribe if you like my energy. Um, and over on Facebook is where I've been doing my um, other readings that don't get posted to YouTube. So if you feel like you resonate with my energy as a reader, check me out on Facebook. All right, we're looking at your energy. Your energy right now, Taurus. What have we got? All right, so you have your Four of Wands coming through. You got your Ace of Wands. You got your Emperor energy coming out right here. And we also have the Queen of Wands showing up in reverse, okay? So it could be with this energy, um, you know, as the, the first thing that popped out was the Four of Wands showing up in reverse. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, so if you guys are dealing with a situation where um, there is somebody else on your mind, but you're with somebody else, it could be that you're feeling like you have maybe positioned yourself to be with the wrong person. And the only re reason why I'm saying that is because of this card and this card. Okay, um, the Emperor, you know, typically his his counterpart is going to be the Divine Feminine as the Empress. So it could be that you guys are in a situation where. Um, you know, it's like maybe my maybe I don't belong here, right? Maybe things um, aren't supposed to be like they are now, okay? Um, sometimes it's easy to kind of get in, into connections without really thinking things through, especially if you weren't committed before, um, but you had options available. So it could be if you it could be that you're here checking out the other person that could be on your mind, okay? Um, that's just kind of what I'm feeling. So this is going to be a unique, a unique scenario. Um, you know, you got your upright emperor energy and then you got the, the queen of wands in reverse. So it could just be that you're contemplating, did you make the right decision? Um, you know, should you have walked away from the other person? Um, you know, I feel like there's just some inspired action that you might want to, or feel like taking towards, um, another connection that was on your mind, especially if you guys were torn between two, um, prior to getting yourself in a connection. Okay. So how do you feel about the current person on your mind? How do you feel about the current person on your mind? All right. So we have the two of coins coming through as well as the three of swords. And then we have the knight of coins coming through also. So as far as how you feel about this person that's on your mind, it could be that you know that maybe there was some hurt or heartache, heartbreak, maybe yo-yoing in and out, um, especially you guys, if you were the one that chose to walk away from the connection. So it could be that you're just tapping into this read to see uh, maybe if there's an opportunity for you and the other person to come into play. Okay, I kind of feel like you guys, um, and it could be roles reversed. Okay, I'm just going to read it as I'm seeing it. So this could be like what you're feeling, what they did to you. Okay, or, or you could be a cross watcher here. Um, but as far as your feelings towards them, I just kind of feel like, you know, I, I kind of know I hurt them, right? I kind of know, I know, I know that they're hurting. Um, maybe it wasn't the right time. Maybe um, it was the right person, but the wrong timing or, you know, something like that. Um, you got your page of swords also coming through. So I kind of feel like for whoever is here, you could just be checking out to see what the energy of this person is, especially if you can say, yeah, I kind of messed up a little bit. You know what I mean? I messed up. Um, um, and I would hope that we're all mature enough to, to um, you know, not like, I guess I want to say don't not... It, 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 the end results, okay, if we see this coming back around in the next 30 days, if you guys were the ones that pulled your energy away um, because you chose something else, I want to say don't not reach out to this person because you fear that they hate you or dislike you. I want to say, if, especially if there was no commitment and you had to choose between two, you were dating, um, don't fear the worst, if you know you made a mistake, um, I want to say that, um, you know, as far as energies, we, we're all mature. Or we should be mature anyway. So don't let that stop you from the return, you know, um, should you be done with the current situation that I kind of see happening here. All right. So let's just see who this person is. What is their energy? What is their energy? This person's energy on your mind. All right. <clears throat> so we have... The Seven of Wands coming through. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles coming through. So you got Earth Energy. You got Capricorn coming through. 
Um, it could be that this person is is like their current energy. I can't help but feel like the earth sign could represent you too, you guys. Um, I hate to say it, but I got to kind of call it like it is. If you were stringing them along, you didn't choose them. They could be closing the door on in, in, the energy as it's coming through the earth sign and just focusing on themselves. So if you guys, um, and this is not a bad energy, okay? Because I look at the seven of wands and the four of swords as sort of a, a self-love, self-healing, self-reflection dynamic. All right. Um, and to me, it would say I'm, they're they're not dealing with this energy, especially if you guys are still currently coupled up with somebody else. Um, I do feel like they're kind of I'm closing the door on this chapter for now, but it doesn't mean that it's permanent. OK, you guys. But um, I would say this, if you're still actively involved with somebody, maybe um, don't maybe maybe now won't be the time for you to go out of your way to reach out. Um, because I almost feel like one of the questions this person would ask is, is it over with, um, you know, so-and-so? Are you done with so-and-so? And if the answer is no, um, I kind of feel like you, it, it's like a um, abrupt. I just feel like something abrupt is coming through with this energy. So how does this person feel about you? How is the one on your mind feeling about you right now? How is the one feeling about you right now? Look at that. Gosh. We got the sun card in reverse. You got the five of cups coming through, which tells me at one point in time, this person was probably pretty upset. Um, maybe even you guys could, if you guys are dealing with somebody who's, who was upset or mad, it's like you missed out, right? It, it, you don't go see if the grass is greener. Um, we also got the 10 of wands coming through and I almost feel like, um, it's almost like this person is saying you gave up on me too easy. You know what I mean? Um, if there's a third party, you know, at play right here, which I'm kind of feeling there is, um, go be with the third party. And I feel like that's represented by the queen of swords. Um, how they feel about you, you chose somebody else. Um, and I feel like it's that queen of wands energy, but I mean, I guess what I want to say is you live and learn. We live and learn and sometimes there's still situations that we have to deal with um, on a, a karma level, um, especially when it comes from past life energy, you know, um, so I'm not here to bash anyone. But Taurus, if you know that you kind of messed up something that felt pretty good at one point in time and, and you just chose to go somewhere else, don't beat yourself up over it. Um, make make do what you, you know in your heart you need to do to fix you to fix the, the circumstances around relationships with you. So it starts with you, fix, you know. Fix, heal, forgive you, um, and and then t t do what's necessary for you to be happy. That's how I'm going to say it. Um, I'm not here to tell you guys what to do, but if you know you messed up, um, you know, start with yourself first. Um, heal, forgive yourself, and just uh, life is life. We kind of go through these live and learn situations, right? So let's just see if this is going to have some communication, some comeback here in the next 30 days. Is this connection going to be something that returns in the next 30 days? Are you guys going to have anything showing up for you in the next 30 days? Uh, maybe 30 days is is a it's too gracious of a timeline for you guys. All right. We have the um, King of Wands coming through. You got your Five of Wands. You got your Nine of Swords coming through right here. So I kind of feel like for the next 30 days, Taurus... Um, you guys might not be ready to come to come back to this. I'm kind of feeling like you guys are the ones that might have to go through and atone, you know, for maybe your actions. Um, and I just kind of feel like for what's happening right now, if you're still kind of in this state of confliction, if you don't really know what to do, if you are in another connection right now, um, I feel like what you guys are being told is to sort that out first before deciding to come back to this person or reaching out to this person. Um, and it's not that this person would be nasty, but I feel like it would be more for, um, you know, um, I guess reaching out and making contact, making connections when you're trying to make contact when you're in another connection. Um, it's not really fair to the person um, that it was done to, but it's also not fair to the person that you're currently sitting with. Um, and it's not fair to yourself. Right. So I feel like it's about sorting things out um, at this time in order to see some sort of fruitful growth come in the future. And I'm not saying this person hates you or anything like that, but it's almost like, I feel like the energy right here is saying you got to get yourself sorted out and your situation sorted out before um, you're going to see something beautiful come back, you know, in the form of the connection that you had with this, who I feel is on your mind right here. So what is your advice when it comes to this connection or this person? Actually, let's just see, let's just see in the next couple of months, is this going to, be a connection that heals. This is going to be a connection that grows and repairs in the next couple of months. Look at that. 
So a little bit past 30 days is what I'm seeing for you guys. There is still some growth, some healing, right? There is some something that has to happen here before you guys see a good energy exchange. Um, but I do feel like you guys are going to be coming out of the break period that you feel you're having right now. Um, and I do feel like it's coming through with judgment. Judgment is a card of change, growing, releasing, moving past the past. And it's also a card that brings the angels from the past back. So you got your wish fulfillment coming through. All right. But maybe now is not the time to um, try to settle things out with a person when you got to settle out your current situation. All right. So if you got somebody on your guys' side, if you got somebody in your life right now and you um, you had, a, you know, this was an option like you had you were torn between two. I, I'm going to say just wait until you sort your first connection out before you come to the second one. Um, you know what I mean? So initials coming through for this read, it could be yours or the person on your mind or even the one that you're dealing with right now. V-A-L. We have N, D, and F. All right. I am going to leave it right here. Taurus, good luck, you guys. Take care.